Hey everyone, uh, last night we decided to go to Lanco. It was kind of like a last minute decision after getting completely washed out last week. Uh, Ross kind of brought up the idea of uh, shooting the Lanco and running their Memorial Day Mayhem race. So um, Saturday or Sunday night, I decided to get the car ready, uh, kind of throw a kitchen sink at the setup, uh, and just go out and have fun because uh, I never raced on the track, let alone see it. So. I was kind of going in there with just the expectation of just being able to start the feature. Uh, but early on, I was really kind of not scared, but like comfortable moving up against the wall. Uh, by the time the heat came around, I was up towards the wall and stuff like that. But uh, a huge shout out to Ross. He actually towed the car and was my own, only crew member the whole week, uh, just cause everybody else had plans with Memorial Day and stuff like that. So um, we pulled an 85, which I thought would be a good number, um, but it actually put us starting eighth in the second heat. Uh, they were taking five out of the heats. Uh, so um, with starting eighth, I was kinda like, just need to get into the A, so. Um, I'll roll the clip from the heat race. pretty good in the heat race honestly I was just happy to pass a couple cars learn the track get used to the track and stuff like that um towards the end I started running the top I was able to pick a couple cars off and uh felt really comfortable I knew I had a fast car it was just a matter of time of just learning the track getting used to running up against the wall and stuff like that so 
Um, it was really hard to track down the top five because once I got into six, they were kind of all spread out, and it, it's just hard to track somebody down that's either equal with you or just faster than you. With the B main, we were kind of rushing around, so uh, I wasn't able to get any GoPro footage. Uh, but like I said, we started second in the B main. I fell back early, uh, back to like fourth or something like that. Uh, Alex Bright got by me. And then I was kind of watching where he was running right up against the wall. So I started doing that and I was able to pick off a couple cars, move up to second. And that's where I ended up finishing in the B main. Honestly, I came off the track with a huge smile on my face. Uh, just being happy that I was able to qualify for the first time ever seeing the track. And being able to qualify out of 35 cars, which was really cool. Uh, we started 22nd in the A main out of 26 cars. Uh... I had the GoPro on, but for some reason, my brand new GoPro just stopped recording in the middle of the feature. So uh, I got the first 11 laps of the feature. So I'll put that in the video and hope you guys enjoy.
for the rest of the feature, um, I kind of honestly was running like 20th and then uh, well, I started jumping up to the wall and basically running basically on the wall. Uh, I was able to get up to 15th. I kind of, if I had like one more to lap, I would have probably got 14th. Uh, the person in 14th beat me by like a nose and so I was just happy to finish uh learn things uh honestly that track has moved up to one of my top favorite tracks just the way it has so much character and then you just got to run up to the wall so there's a little room for <laughs> mistakes up there but uh honestly it was fun throwing sliders uh tubbing people and stuff like that so Honestly, I'm definitely excited to go back. Uh, I'm also excited to uh, clean the car tonight and get get back out there tomorrow night and go to Shell Hammers for the Wingless Wednesday. Uh, but honestly, I want to thank everybody for supporting me. Uh, I give a huge shout out to my family and my friends for, you know, sharing out my post and, you know, just completely showing me love and support. I uh, also want to give a shout out to my sponsors. Without them, honestly, it would be just hard to kind of follow my dreams and uh, just have fun week in and week out. Uh, <laughs> even with bending up a lot of stuff this season so far, I've been having uh, one amazing season uh, and it's only been a couple weeks into the season so I'm always happy with learning getting better every week uh, we have one top 10 and then uh, two top 15s with both I came from the rear so we're kind of happy with what we're doing right now um, we're kind we're kind of shaking off the bad luck I'm kind of getting excited with all this bad luck that's kind of going out the window and we're able to get some luck behind us so I'm really excited to see what we can do tomorrow night with uh, Shell Hammers. Honestly, I think we might be able to top our uh, sixth place finish that we can't seem to crack with the 600. So um, maybe even get a win. <laughs> but I'm just really excited. I hope to see you guys at Shell Hammers. Uh, to give you a little idea, we are going to try to run Kutztown next Wednesday to tune up for the Impossible race. On Sunday uh, June 13th so stay tuned to Facebook um, also don't forget about the contest we got going on uh, the end date is June 30th I think I said it too so um, don't forget to share out that post uh, we have it tagged at the top of our Facebook page so um, it's easy to find for everybody but uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and keep showing your support thank you guys